I met I met you like you were probably like 16 or 17 when I first met you. A fetus. How old? <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit bigger than that. How old are you to be on Thursday? I'm going to be 19. So you're still a fetus is what you're saying. I know, but I don't... Yes. <laughs> and we got that on tape. And now... 97.3 Now has more YouTube hits than any other radio station in the world. So, my mom made me take a tennis class when I was little. Oh and so, this is how it went down. I went to one class. And you fell. Because she made me. I didn't. The, I was actually so bad at hitting the balls that the teacher used me always as an example of what not to do. Oh, that's so mean. Yeah, I know. And so I went to the producer round of The X Factor, and um, after that, they send you to perform for the actual judges. And so when they wrote me the letter, basically they said that I was a, um, what, what's that called? Alternate. Right, an alternate. Um, an alternate, which means that you're not guaranteed a spot to audition in front of the judges. And if they have time at the end of the show, then you can audition, but that's never guaranteed. So you have to still sit there and wait, wait, wait? So the auditions were all the way in North Carolina, and so my whole family and I traveled to North Carolina to see if maybe I could audition. So the auditions, the judges' auditions, are three days. The first day I get there, and I'm about to go on the stage and sing, and I have my microphone in my hand, and a producer comes and says, sorry, we don't have enough time. Whoa. You can't audition. Yeah, yeah. So you were only an alternate for one day. Yeah. 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 So they as you, give you the so mic and they didn't let you I, sing. I know. So as you keep going throughout the days, your name keeps going down and down on the list because the, there's different alternates for every day. So anyway, so that so then I said, okay, like I'm I'm just gonna try like to come the next day. So the next day I come, same like same basically the same thing happens and I'm a crying like backstage and um, the producer like my grandma's there and my grandma's crying because we were all like this sucks like I'm not gonna get a chance to audition and I wanted it so badly and they were like honestly you shouldn't come um, at all anymore because I don't want to see your family disappointed if you come tomorrow there's not gonna be any room for you to audition I honestly think you should just go home and try again next year um, Boo. yeah and so Simon Cowell luckily walks out like behind the stage and I was like was he wearing a really tight white shirt yeah okay. and I was wow. like I was like Simon they won't let me audition could you please let me audition Simon and all the judges on the show they have no idea what the alternate process is actually like they just see people walk out on stage give them a yes whatever and so he was like oh yeah for sure you can audition and I turned over to the executive producer and I was like don't like see he's Simon Cowell and he's telling me I can audition can that I was please that was I like that thanks and yeah. I was like can I please just come back tomorrow um, and so basically to sum up the story they saw how persistent I was and how much I wanted to be there because I ended up like just crying to the producer and being like honestly I don't even have to you don't even have to put me as an alternate tomorrow I just want to be in the building to know that I did that I did everything that I could to know that if there maybe is a 1% chance that I'm allowed to audition, that I'm here, that I'm still here for it. And so they saw how persistent I was, and the next day they ended up m letting me audition. That is a great story. That is awesome. It's 97.3 now. Brett Andrews, we are now officially commercial-free. And oh my goodness, I have a co-host in the studio, Camilla! Oh, that's me! Uh, you, so we were talking before about Ty Dollar Sign's neck tattoo. Do you have any tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. No. I, I, the only tattoo I would want to get, my mom and I were just talking about it, but I would want to get love only. Oh, on your finger? On my finger. Finger tattoos are like the new thing. Yeah, I, I feel like it's cool because it's not really like a big... I would get a really small one. Sure. Who is the most famous person that follows you on Twitter? Um, Taylor Swift. Does Taylor follow you? She does follow me. Oh, that's pretty big time. Yeah. Brett, you're the bomb.